Hey guys, Artillery Boy here, and today we're going to be doing a gas mask review. I'm talking about the SHM-62U and the SHMP, or most noticeably, more commonly known as the GP5. Let's begin. The GP5 is a single filtered Gauss threaded mask. This mask is produced in, 19, in the Soviet Union in 1960s through 1990s to be replaced by the GP7s. Now let's get to the mask and its accessories. The first thing you'll get is a can is a carrier for the mask, which is made out of fabric. Now it actually has two pockets for it. Now it's for the IPP8, which is a decontamination kit, and the first aid kit, which that's what it is. Now the straps itself is actually for the weight. Now this is for the waist so it won't move the carrier, and this one's for the shoulders. And I only get to the the elephant in the room of, of anything with the GP5 is, yes, I'm talking about this one, the filter. Now, this contains asbestos, blue and white asbestos. Now, for my recommendation, I think FP6 Polish filters are better than this. But this is the filter it came, it comes with the mask. And now we get to the mask. Now, this is actually the production date. Now it has, now the three dots on there will, will be the one for July through September. And the 83 is the year of the mask. And the T, which actually is for the manufacturer, that where it's made from. Now we got the inlet assembly and the exhale assembly. Got the basic eye pieces. And now we're gonna talk about this here. Now it is very thin. Now the SHM62, now this is the 62U, the more common ones. The 62 is much more thicker. So they decided to make it more thinner to make it more cheaper thus making it very common to find this variant than the much more thicker rubber. Let's go look at the inside of the mask. Now, inside of the mask, now, when I first got this, this was, the flapper piece was reversed, so that's, I decided to reverse it back in there. Now, it has the T-SOT tubes, and that's about it. It actually lacks of an oral nasal cup in the mask. But yes, that's the whole assembly piece to it. Now, let's go test the mask itself. So this is what it smells like. Now, there are variants of the GP5. Now, the GP5M is very much, well, with the diaphragm, the voice diaphragm, and the holes on the ears are cut off. Meanwhile, for another mask, the SHMP, which I have right here, this one is just basically the same thing. The only difference are is the whole face piece is black, and this piece for the filter port is black. But except for, let me go show you inside of the mask. Except for the flapper piece right here is very much, very much the same with the GP5. That's, that's the only, that's the only thing that's not changed a lot.
during 1981 through 19, 1988, the government of East Germany decided to import pretty much 1,810,000 of these were imported from, from the Soviet Union. And now let's talk about the U.S. import. These Soviet masks, or this whole kit, were very much imported to U.S. and sold as Everstar. Now, these masks, alongside with another mask, the PDF, I will uh, cover on, on the next video. These masks are very... Now, these are, despite they're very old, they're actually sold as very much chemical, biological, radiation, nuclear type masks. But in reality... You gotta need chemical suits, chemical gloves, and even the chemical boots to actually protect yourself from that kind of stuff. And also, a better filter. Let's get on to the verdict. I gave this, the GP5 and the SHMP, a 6 out of 10. Yes, that's, that's not surprised if you're probably wondering. Despite people may not be a huge fan of the whole helmet style and the filter containing very much, very controversial filter topic. Yeah, very controversial. Now, it's not really as the best mask. It quite lacks of a drinking straw and the Gauss filter. Now, despite they're not terribly made, well, not terribly made, um, it's very much of a simple mask. Now, unlike uh, unlike another mask, another uh, mask that is uh, an Israel 4A1, these masks are pretty flawed, and I like masks that are pretty flawed. They're not really. Now, if I would wear a mask that's pretty flawed, nah. You know, at a very much a at a very much hazardous environment or any scenario, not so much. But it's a mask that's quite better than nothing. Now, it, despite it being flawed, it's I think it's best for collectors who are beginning collecting gas masks. Or Soviet collectors. Now, that wraps up the GP5. If you enjoy the video, like the video, comment the video, and subscribe. Comment on there and subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'm Artillery Boy and I'm signing out.